Brannis, it's turning into a city council battle royale. Older people have about 36 hours and counting to approve a new ward map based on the 2020 census results. But if today's rules committee meeting is any indication for when that proposed map might be released, looks like it'll be a rough few days. WTTW News reporter Heather Sharon joins us now with more. Heather, first of all, remind us uh, what's at stake Wednesday and why that's the deadline. Well, state law since December 1st is the day that the city council has to draw new boundaries for the 50 wards based on the 2020 census, which found that Chicago's black population dropped 10%, its Latino population rose 5%, and the Asian American population soared nearly 30%. So it's a very different city than it was 10 years ago, and the wards have to reflect that. If 41 aldermen don't agree on a single map, that opens the door to send the whole question to a referendum and to let Chicago voters decide, which would be the first time in 30 years that had happened. And these remap fights usually come down to a race. Today's meeting was very racially polarized. There's a clip here of Alderwoman Michelle Harris praising, quote, white aldermen for their negotiating skills. Take a look. So I think it's wrong to characterize it as a process just for a certain group of people because 36 or more people have been in that space and created a map. So it's not just a certain caucuses map or it wouldn't be 36 people in a space. Heather, what's she getting at here? Well, in every remap effort, except for this one, and including this one, the, the map has been drawn behind closed doors, which has given specific aldermen a chance to choose their own voters while at the same time punishing their enemies and boosting their allies. That has broken down because the Chicago City Council's Latino Caucus is insisting that the map have at least 15 wards with a majority of Latino voters. They say it's necessary to reflect Chicago's growing Latino population and make sure they have adequate political representation. Now, at the same time, the Chicago City Council's Black Caucus is determined to create as many wards as possible with the majority of Black voters. Now, they have 18 wards now. They said they're willing to settle for 17 wards, but that's still not possible because this is a zero-sum game. When one racial group gains, another will lose, and that's why this is going to come down to the wire uh, late, late Tuesday night, right before the, the deadline. Certainly a, a legislative game of chicken here, and here's a X Factor, Mayor Lightfoot, and today you asked her whether she should step up and uh, weigh in on this process a little more. Take a look. The process, I think, has been uh, very tough. There's a lot of emotions that are built out um, on um, all sides. I think that people need to come to the table, play the long game, um, and get something done. Whether the council is going to be able to get themselves organized in a way that makes it happen, I don't know the answer to that. Very quickly, Heather, do you know what the mayor is going to do? I don't. I couldn't get her to nail down on exactly how long the map should be public before a vote. So that is, like you said, another X factor going into these last hours of fraught negotiations. All right, we'll keep watching it. And our thanks to Heather Sharon. And you can read Heather's full story on our website, wttw.com news.